grace and familiar scripture to you this evening. If you want to follow along with Luke tonight. The Gospel of Luke in the 10th chapter. Chapter 10. If you knew that tonight was your last night on this earth, would there be anything different? you would have done in the service. Yeah. Would there have been anything different you would have done today? Good question. Yeah. Say, preacher, we don't know tonight's our last. That's my point. We don't know. Yeah. We'll be here today and gone today. One thing about it, we are leaving. Mm -hmm. One here gets to stay here. I wouldn't want to stay here after a while, Brother John. This is going to be a very inhospitable place. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I want to go to that place that we've heard something about. That capital city of the new world to come, New Jerusalem. That new world that is to come. John saw a new heaven and a new earth. The old one was moved out of its place. Because this world is lit on fire with the wrath of God and hurled out in the darkness. <coughs> I want to be in the grace and the mercies of God. Yes. Let me read this to you. Down toward the end of the chapter, very familiar. 38th verse. The Bible said, And now it came to pass as they went, and he entered, talking about Jesus, into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was covered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful. And Mary hath chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. I'd like to take my time this evening and talk to us just a little bit. Today, what a beautiful day the Lord blessed us to have. As I told him this morning, that I thank him for another gift of life on his earth. To walk about on his land, underneath his sun, in his sky, enjoying his trees, his nature that he created. I have one less day to live. I have one less day than I had yesterday. And two less than the day before. It's awful easy to get constrained by life and Trying to live, trying to handle life, trying to deal with things. 
And I believe you would agree with me that it is no longer one thing after another. It's many things all together at one time. But you see, the enemy knows that he has a short time. He does. And he may not be able to get me to go out and break the commandments of God, just go out and rob somebody, kill somebody. Might not be able to get us to uh, commit adultery or bear false witness. But all he really would like to do is to get us so busy that we fail to see God that one thing that's important. Praise the Lord. You read here where the Bible said that as Jesus passed in, I believe it was Bethany, where they lived. But as he came into that certain village, the Bible said that a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. It was her home. And evidently she made the invitation for him to come. So Jesus came to her house. And while he came, he began to teach the word. And I, I don't believe that there's any preacher anywhere, living or dead, that could teach like Jesus would teach. There's no greater revival would ever come to town than for Jesus of Nazareth to come to your village and sit in your home and speak to you. Praise God, he comes to my home and he speaks to me. Hmm? But here we find that she had made the invitation to him. She had asked him to come and he came. As he sat, he was expounding the word of God and her sister began to say, and the Bible said that, that Mary, she also sat at Jesus' feet. Also means two. Somebody else had been there. So evidently Martha had been there too. But maybe because she got a little concerned, you sisters would know better than the brothers about that part, about wanting to make sure everything is just, just right. If somebody in your home and you're going to have them with dinner and you want to just make sure everything's took care of. But she let that begin to pull her away from the feet of Jesus. Remember, the Bible said Mary also sat. Martha had been there. And she began to be so overcome by trying to serve in the natural. Taking care of things naturally speaking. But here was the Son of God. The Anointed One. Christ and meaning the anointed one, anointed of God, the Messiah, was sitting in her home. She had let the worries and cares of trying to tend around that home pull her away from the feet of Jesus. And then she began to look, and, and no doubt, Mary was probably just enthralled by the Lord just sitting there thinking in every word. Uh, just like we would be when the Holy Ghost begins to move and, and begins to speak. If you love that, you want to hear that. And she loved the Lord. She wanted to hear what he had to say. But Martha, in the midst of all that was going on, she began to notice that her, her sister was, to her, it looked like she was just sitting there and leaving all the work to her. Uh, you know, it can be a little aggravating if you feel like you're the only one trying to do. But she began to go to Jesus and ask and said, Lord, sometimes we'll say that. We might not say dust, but we'll say, Lord, don't you care? She goes to Jesus and she said, Lord, dost thou not care? I'm going to tell you this evening, the Lord cares. He cares about everybody in this building. He cares about the sinners out on the highways and the byways. He cares about those who's blown out of their mind this evening and don't even know where they're at. He cares about them. But it's up to every man, woman, boy, and girl to make the 
decision what to do. And Jesus began to say, Lord, don't you care that my sister's left me alone to serve? Tell her, make her get up. Tell her to come and help me. Bid her, therefore, that she helped me. And uh, I wonder how surprised she was when Jesus didn't rebuke Mary. But he began to kind of rebuke Martha. Sometimes we're not careful with things. So the Lord might need to get on somebody and he might not get on us. He began to tell her and called her by name. And I believe when he said it, he said it with the love of God. Martha, Martha. He began to tell her, he said, you're careful. It don't mean she's being cautious. It meant she was overwhelmed and full of care. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I know there's some folks that will take the scripture that says, be careful for nothing, and they think you don't need to pray about nothing or, or take any kind of caution what you do. That ain't what the word meant. Yeah. It meant don't let yourself be overwhelmed with the cares of this life. Don't let the cares around you pull you away from the ministry that God has given you to do. Yeah. Don't let anything take you away from the feet of the Lord. He began to say, you're careful and you're troubled about many things. He might trouble. You don't have to raise your hand. There are hearts that are troubled this evening. There are minds that are troubled tonight. Everybody in here just about, we would be safe to say, has got a battle in some way or another. We've got trouble in some way or another. That's just part of living for the Lord. It ain't that the Lord troubles us, but we have an adversary that is going to come against me and you He's going to come against us trying to pull our hearts and our minds away from the Lord. Jesus began to remind her, you're careful, you're troubled about many things. He said, but one thing, you're troubled about many things, but there's only one thing that is needful. Praise the Lord. I tell you this evening, there's only one thing that's needful. There's only one thing you need. It's the same thing I need. As much of God as we can get a hold of. As much of the things of God that you and I can attend to, that's what we need. Your house, you're going to die off and leave it behind you. You can't take your car with you. I thought we saw it. It's just a little silly off the wall and thing. A fellow that loved his car so much that he, he had not bury him in it when he put him away. All that did, the car's rotting in the ground. Him and the body's rotting and the soul has gone to his long home. You can't take these other things with There's only one thing that we need. We need Jesus. Your people need Jesus. Amen. This church needs Jesus. The body of Christ is not the body of Christ without Christ. Amen. And there are many that are being pulled away from the most necessary thing. And that is attending at the feet of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. You ever been too busy to pray? Yeah. Too much going on fast. I'm looking back at you. Is that too busy? Sit down. 30 minutes with the bike. Would you let something come up at your house that needs done? You be on top of that trying to get that took care of. You let something happen to that car that you like. Some of you might maybe polish up, keep you clean. You let something happen to it. You'll be on top of that trying to get that attended to. Right. But there's only one thing that's needful. Jesus said there's one thing. It's not about the, the serving and the natural things and attending to the, are we eating enough? Are the dishes clean? Are the house clean enough? All of them things are good, but all those things have their place right. and their time. Lord. Choose Jesus. If you have something that you had to make a choice tonight, would you choose the Lord? There are many tonight that could have been here that are here. And that's between them and the good Lord, but I'm going to tell you anyway. If you love the Lord, you'll be here when you can. When you can. Praise the Lord. And here comes the enemy. Here he comes. I understand when things happen. God understands when things happen. We can't help. Ain't talking about that. I'm talking about letting things pull us away. There are things that happen we can't help. But there are other things, praise the Lord, there are other things that go on that we can help. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise the Lord. I thought my boy had been getting to go fishing here lately. That's good. There's no sin in that. 
There's nothing wrong with that. But if he gets to go on fishing more than he goes praying, that will send him down to the house. Yeah. Because there's one thing that is needful. Amen. And that is to get a hold of God. Amen. The brothers talked about the Holy Ghost a while ago. Talking about wanting them all to get. It's beautiful to think of lovely things like that. All of us sitting in one place and the Spirit of God sitting down and rolling through and baptizing different folks and those that have been baptized moving inside and just everything just flowing so wonderful. That's a beautiful thought. But we've got to get down to the feet of Jesus to have that moment in the Lord. We can say and we can wish and we can hope and we can look out for tomorrow, but until we get back to the feet of the Lord, we're not going to get anywhere with God. Praise the Lord. I thought this evening, last night, this evening, today, this evening, you should stay with me uh, about choosing Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you could leave your children something when you leave here, what would it be? Would it be a, a mansion? Fleet of cars? A bank account they never have to work? If you could leave your children something, Leave them Jesus. Leave them that seed that you planted in their heart. Praise the Lord. Right. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. <coughs> Praise the Lord. I asked you when I started, and I ask you again, if you knew this was your last service, is there something that you would do? Here? If the Lord woke you up one morning and said, when the sun goes down, I'm calling you out. How would you live that day differently than you live today? Young folks, would you spend all day with your nose and a cell phone? Come on. Or would you spend it in the altar? Crying out unto God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said you're, you're careful and you're troubled about many things. But Mary has chosen that one thing is needful. Mary has chosen that good thing which shall not be taken away from her. You, have you got something tonight that the world can't take away from you? Do you possess something that, that the repo man can't come in and take from you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Those of you that own your home, as long as you pay taxes on that, you keep that while you're here. But you get behind on it and see if they don't come and take it away from you. You don't pay on your vehicle, see if they don't come and take it away from you. Really, in this life, you really don't own anything. It's borrowed just for a while while you're here. But there's something you can get down in your heart and down in your soul. That then you don't have to make any kind of natural payment. Every day you go and get the altar, you stand up and pay the yeah. And when time comes to leave here, brother, there's a lot of things I can't take with me, but this that is abiding within me, I'm taking mine with me when I go, because I'm going to need that when I get back up on that resurrection morning, and I'm not going to give it to nobody else. If you don't get it, you won't have it for yourself. But that's the way to get that. you got to get Praise the Lord. Brother might have missed it a while back, maybe better than Brother Steve. <coughs> About, you know, at times there's nothing wrong with uh, a man working work. But don't let your work get it in between you and your God. Right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And Lord knows why we bring this this evening. I like what you listen to. We're coming down to the end of the church. The time of the Gentiles, the fullness of the Gentiles is just about up. That is. So 
slow down a year or two here, listen to me. You don't see people praying with conviction much anymore. Hallelujah. You see them from time to time that a meeting will hit and they're going to pray during that meeting. And then when the meeting is gone, it's not long, they're gone too. This I'm talking about tonight, that one thing that shall not be taken away will keep you serving the Lord. It will keep you through your trials. It will keep you through your heartaches, through your greatest, greatest times of darkness. It will keep you serving God and calling out to Him. Praise the Lord. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. I don't know if you, if you, some of you that's read will know, we mentioned this before, but uh, Jesus begins to speak about, you, you hear him sing about that song in Matthew 25, about the ten virgins, five foolish, five wise. Do you realize that the Lord is telling all through that chapter how that He's going to judge His people when He comes? Have you not read that He's going to put every unclean thing out of His kingdom? He begins to sin. He begins to separate the sheep from the goats. It's talking about cleaning out his flock. Pray to all. Pray to all. When I leave here, I step out of time. Time doesn't affect me anymore. My body might lay on the hill side a hundred years. I won't know nothing about that. But this soul goes on. And I step outside of time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When He comes, gather His people. He's going to judge from among His people. You're looking at me like you don't understand. What was those ten virgins? They, they, were, they were virgins. They were pure. They were clean. They were waiting on the bridegroom to come. Five was ready. Five wasn't. That wasn't talking about five of them was sinners. Just out there, didn't know nothing about that bridegroom. Every one of them started out waiting for him to come. And half of them were ready when he got them. And them that were ready, they went in. The Bible said, and the door was shut. There's only one thing tonight that's needful. Let's have your heart, your soul right with God. Yeah. Amen. You go to the doctor, they tell you you've got a clean bill of health. You may drop dead before you get back in your vehicle. Because there's not a doctor anywhere around that's got the keys of death. Praise the Lord Jesus is holding the keys tonight. Amen. To the Lamb of God. And there's one thing that is necessary. There's one thing that is needful. And that's for us to get in a hurry. Get back to Jesus. Church, get back to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. We'll bring this to you now. Don't know if I get hurt at me, but I've got to tell you. Get back to Jesus. Leave the world alone. Leave the things of the world alone. If you're not careful, you'll let those things get a hold of your heart. And where are your heart? Hello, hello, hello. Your heart will be right where your treasure is. The things that you love, that's what you treasure. The things you find pleasure in, that's what you treasure. And that's where your heart will be. Glory to God. It wasn't that Martha was doing something wrong. She just allowed the cares around her to draw her away from giving attention unto the Lord. How many times you say, I wouldn't do that. I don't see how in the world she allowed that to happen to her. Get away from the Lord. How many nights have you gathered out and the Spirit of the Lord trying to move in the house of God and it's something
He's going to call me. And I'm going to go. And it won't matter who preaches my funeral, who sings the songs. It won't matter to me. I won't be here. But where will I be? Where will I be? Have I let the cares of this life pull my attention away from the cross? Have I let the things of this world pull my heart away from the Lord? Have I simply just let life choke out the Word in my heart and I become unfruitful to the Lord? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Yeah. Good to serve the Lord this evening. Yes. It's good to serve tonight. I thought I love them songs. I love to worship the Lord. Yeah. I love that goodness He tried to come down among us. Yeah. Listen to me, children. But you can tell when a man or woman's been praying. And you can tell when they've been letting other things pull them away from the Lord. Oh. You'll have the hardest church services you've ever had yeah. when you get a bunch of carnal minded people together. Yeah. It don't matter how hard you try to sing. This ain't run on talent. It's not run on skill. It's run on the anointing of God. That's the Holy Ghost who will run this thing. Tell me to get the Holy Ghost in my God. He'll do every work that needs to be done. But he can't work with me if I'm wore out. Let this life take my attention away from God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glad to be here tonight. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. While we're here, we're here to lift up Jesus. Yes. We're here to lift him up. Yes. Then begin to sing about the thank of the Lord. Uh, you got plenty to thank you about. It's another day the Lord let you live. It's another day in your life. You'll never have this day like again. How'd you spend it? How do we spend it? Glory to the Lamb of God. How are we planning on doing tomorrow? Don't worry about tomorrow. You're not there. You're here. You can't. Chris, we can't live in tomorrow. And, and some needs to quit living in yesterday. We need to live for today. Amen. While it is called today. This day. This is the day that the Lord made. He made it for us. Did we redeem the time? Did we choose the Lord? Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Take the time to see. Glory to God. We chose Jesus. Do we choose the Lord? Praise God. While they had him standing there, what a pitiful sight he looked like. How pitiful did that man look? And here they brought this murderer out, the murderer and a seditious man. They said, which one would you rather have? You know what they began to do? They said, give us four hours. We want Barabbas. Give us Barabbas. What should I do with this man Jesus? Crucify him. Away with him. Crucify him. I wonder how many times the folks stop during the day and they think, what should I do with this man Jesus? He keeps beckoning me to go and pray. He keeps beckoning me when I go to do things I ought not do. He's beckoning me to stop and turn around and do what he's taught me to do. What should I do with this man Jesus? You say, I wouldn't have been with that crowd they made. I wouldn't have cried out to him I, I wouldn't have said, give me Jesus. But I wonder how many day-to-day -day choices we make when we can choose the Lord or we can choose the things of our flesh that we say, give me my flesh and away with Jesus. Give me the desire of my heart line and away with the Lord. Or what do you want me to do with this man Jesus? What are we going to do with him, children? Away with him. Do away with him. Crucify him all over again. It's so sweet. They sing at the feet of Jesus. And you know, 
Bible does not say what Martha did after the Lord told her that. But if I was in that situation, I believe I would have sat down, sat back down, and said, okay, Lord, teach on. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to the Lamb of God. How good is it? Praise the Lord. Well, I thought how that time began to go. And uh, Jesus began to set at me in that house. And the same woman that, that was at his feet, she began to come in and she opened up a perfume box. And she had on him with it. She washed his feet. She got got him with her. Time began to go on. And this same woman's brother began to get sick. Yeah. And they began to send for the Lord. He'd been to the home. He broke bread with them. Yeah. Uh, she washed his feet for him. She did. He tired. He waited. He waited. A few days later, then he began to, began to head that way. I guess he didn't want to be there when his friend passed away. He wouldn't want to see that. Just let the Father do what the Father's going to do. Then Jesus is going to go. Hallelujah. There you go. And of course, here's the person that comes out to me. He ought to do it. He told the disciples. Lazarus is dead. I'm glad people will say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Lord was fixing to make some believers out now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Martha, the one who's been so busy, always just coming about trouble. Or if you've been here, yeah. but it's not done. Yeah. Yeah. Mary, his word that the Lord has come, she rises up, she begins to go out. They thought she's going to go and mourn for her brother. She's going out to Jesus. She begins to say the same thing. His sisters, you know, sometimes sisters act a whole lot alike. Sometimes they hold her off. Lord, you've been here. Brother, you're going to die. Mm. Oh, little brother. Shall I live again? Praise the Lord. I wonder. I wonder. She began to say, the yeah, Lord, I know we'll live again. The resurrection is the last day. I wonder what Jesus was teaching when he was sitting in her house. Martha was serving. And Mary was listening. Because somebody taught her about that resurrection. Sadducees didn't believe it. I wonder if the Lord's lesson that day was the resurrection. Yeah. I don't know, Mark, but I know this day he gave a master class. Yeah. He said, Resurrection. Yeah. He said, I am the resurrection. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He wanted to take the words of that. He didn't take them up there. He began to weep. He saw the people crying. He saw the people. How the sisters pour up. You touch the Lord. You begin to weep. But he groaned with him. That groan. Hey, David, where'd you go? Uh, I like to preach where they all look the same. That groan that begins to get on that man that And that Holy Ghost begins to get on and begin to move. There'll be a groan and begin to come out of your soul. Hallelujah. 
I believe that when, when Jesus said, take away the stone, they begin to warn him, oh, Lord, he's been dead four days. But now he's stinking. He's stinking now. Well, you don't want to go in there. You don't want to see that. They didn't understand it. He wasn't about to go in there. But he was about to have him there. And she needed Jesus. He was there. He began to cry out. He said, Lazarus, come forth. I don't know how many was in that little tomb with him. Great granddaddy might have been in there. We don't know. But I know one thing. He said, Lazarus, on purpose. Because if the resurrection stood at the mouth of that hole and said, Come forth. Everybody break I believe she was glad she put time in to feed Jesus. I believe she was glad that she could remember back the time that she spent not letting anything take her away from attending to the Lord. That when she needed him, he was found of her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been witnessing the children. How do you feel? How do you feel? Hey, young folks, happy to feel tonight. Do you know about this Jesus that I'm talking about? Oh, praise the Lord. My mama raised me up in the middle of all this. I was around a little bit. I wasn't running around. I brought in and set the pew and dared to move. My mama would look and take it in her hand. And I knew I, judgment day was coming. <laughs> But it kind of wasn't enough for Mama to know about the Lord. It come a day I had to learn about Him for myself. I had to learn. Right. That man came with walking. Have you want to say it? Walking, rolling, floating, strolling through the church house for me. And He got a hold of my heart. And He began to knock at the door. I'm glad that He gave me the mind to open the door and let Him in. But you see, from that time, it was not enough to pray that one prayer. I had to go back and I had to get at the feet of Jesus. I had to learn to get down deep, get down low before the Lord, and learn about Him. Praise the Lord. And this time, I didn't get to go. I could have went places, but I didn't get to go because I had to choose Jesus. Come on, there was other things I didn't get to do. I don't miss those things at all. Because I'm not Jesus. Those things were just for a moment and they're gone. But this that I've got in my soul will abide with me forever and ever and ever and ever. And it'll never be taken away from you. And you got something like that in you this evening. And you got that man Jesus living inside of you tonight. Sing that song. I've got something that you can take away. If you got something tonight that the world can't take away, if you got something that the devil can't take from you, do you have peace that the world can't take away? Do you have joy that the world can't take away? Do you have love that the world can't take away? Do you have a Holy Ghost that this world can't take away? Oh. It's our force. He's our force. As much as you want of him, you can have. You pay the price. You pay the price. You can have it.
Yeah. 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 The greatest friend you will ever have is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Someone that can go with you where nobody else can go. Yeah. And when you get in trouble and there are things that you face that you can't even put into words. Yeah. He understands Amen. how you feel. Amen. Praise the Lord. You find yourself in a place that you say, Mama, I can't tell her how I feel. She won't understand. I can't tell Daddy how I feel. He don't understand me. Jesus understands you. He knows how you feel. And He loves you. Hallelujah. Choose the Lord. Choose Jesus. Time is going to roll on. Friends will come. Friends will go. Valleys will come. Valleys will go. There will be mountaintops that you'll reach. It'll be just a moment you reach the summit and you're headed back down to the other side. Right. There is one that remains unchanged through every place of life that you walk. And that's Jesus. Amen. Don't let anything pull your heart away from the Lord. Glory to the Lamb of God. Your life this evening is just a vapor. Hear with me, church. Your life is a vapor. So now we get up early in the morning and head to work and be such a such a fog just sitting around your camp and sit in the mountains. But just the sunlight will come. When it gets this right, it'll be gone and you won't even know that it was there. That's how we are in our life. Right. But Jesus is the one needful thing that will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll go with you all the way. When the end of the world rolls around, you'll have one friend you can depend on. When life is at its end, you'll have one friend that you can depend on. Uh, I don't plan on crossing that river we say. I don't plan on crossing it alone. But I believe he'll meet me on the shores of that river and take me by the hand and take me to the other side. There'll be other phones come and go now. But you keep the Lord. You keep Him down in your life. All the days that you live, no matter what comes, you choose Jesus. And you let other things go by. And you will win, honey, when you get to the end. You will win. <laughs> I'm not looking at a bunch of losers tonight. I'm looking at a bunch of winners. Praise the Lord. We've got to change teams. We're on the winning side now. And we cannot lose. Yes, are you glad you're here? I am. You glad to be here? Go back to lifting him up if you want to. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I've got something that you can't say. Hallelujah.
saying that, I wouldn't mind. Amen. 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 Choose the Lord. One thing is needful. Let the rest of it go. Let the rest of it go. I can't, I can't seem to get this over. Let's choose one thing. One thing. We're down at that point in our lives. There's only one thing. That's making sure we made our call and our Sure before God. We don't leave here on a question mark. It won't matter. Lord, uh, they, they might be some standing around when I leave here that say, oh, I ain't never made it. I've got news for you. <laughs> if you make it, look for me because I'm going to be there too. Amen. Glory to the sweet man of God. One thing you need. One thing. One thing, yes. and that's Jesus. Yes. Yes. Praise God. They take him to the yogas and they put him on these ball teams. Now, the school makes money off of them. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why they, they love the football team more than they love the math team. Right. Yeah. 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 They might not be able to read or write, but they can run the ball. Yeah. When they get done with them, a lot of them are crippled. Bad knees, bad back, bad arms, bad shoulders. They don't care. They got the money. I'm pushing my boy toward Jesus. Yeah. If I wear this old body out in service to him, he's going to give me a brand new one. Don't let your troubles pull your heart and your mind away from Jesus. Whatever that you've been through. If the devil's done something bad to you, don't blame the Lord. Blame that one that comes to you and tries to get you to blame the Lord. He's the one that's guilty. To say, I'm going on with Jesus just the same. I'm going to hold on to that hand that never changes. That unseen hand that guides me. I'm going to hold fast to that. Because that's all that matters. Here shortly. Here shortly. Thanks for the church. It's going to get tired. Yep. Tribulation will cut. Yeah. But shortly after that, it's big. Yeah. Big. Even to the point of those that will lose their head. Not take that mark. They will come out winners on the other side. Yeah. Hallelujah. You feel good tonight, church? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Do you feel good this evening? Yeah. As soon as I get done, I'll get out of your way. You can get up and go home if you want to. I want to go home. Who are you starting your week out with? Yeah. I don't know if it is so many that thinks tomorrow's the first day of the week. Today's the first day of the week. Uh -huh. Who are you starting your week out with? Tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Little brother, little sister back there, Lord willing that happens at the end of the week. Lord willing that happens, they have another one. Choose Jesus. Stay with the Lord. You're going to need him. Right. Praise the Lord. Hey, little girl back here. Children, I don't believe I know your name. But you all, you choose Jesus. He loves you. Oh, you just don't know how much he cares for you. You just don't know. 
They sat and sing it. Amen. Amen. Let him be allowed to get people's hearts. He better get you hearts before you ride on that there. Too busy for the Lord. Too busy to do for God. Are you about ready to pray? Would you believe me tonight? If I told you that, I believe the Lord's dealing with somebody. Amen. You feel that? Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. 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 you need tonight to make you happy. And one thing that will drive off anxiety, fear, one thing that will heal broken hearts, hurt feelings, wounds, that's Jesus. The greatest physician that's ever been. Somebody make your way to the end? 